just on my way out to this plane wreck. It's like a World War II bomber that went down back in World War II on its way back. Didn't get discovered for 45 years or 49 years or something. Now, I don't exactly know where this bomber is. I've been told about it by a few locals and they're all coming at it from the Calliope side. I'm not coming from the Calliope side. I'm coming from the Bill Wheeler side. So I'm gonna have to figure this out. Okay, so I've just been to a bunch of service stations. I wanted to grab one of those old school paper maps to make this kind of a fun experience, but they don't, so I'm just gonna to have to use my phone. So I'm just gonna bump into HEMA maps. I'll put a little pin on there where I think it might be, and I'm just gonna hit go to on that. Apparently I've gotta go down what's called the Razorback Road. Don't even know how to get to it. The Valentine Plains Road. That's what we're looking for. I've got my HEMA maps. I've got a pin on here, right there. I could just Google Maps this, but I want it to be fun. I want it to be like an adventure. So let's go find this plane wreck. Hello, how are you? Hi, how are you going? Pretty good, thank you. How can we help you? Oh, I was just driving up to the Tops. I just noticed this is like an information center or something, is it? Thanks, is this an information yeah, center? Yeah, oh, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, you might be able to point me in the right direction then. Uh, to Crumbit Tops. Yeah, I want to have a look at that plane. Um, you better all go in the other way. Um, Crumbit Tops, you better all... Um, it's closed. It's closed. Oh, it's closed. Oh, well, it's open again. Oh, great. Um, so I've got my map. It's a map of the actual national park. So I'll go up the Valentine Plains Road, which is just here, <clears throat> and then up the Razorback Road. Just talking to the guys there in the information centre, it is a bit of a rugged track getting up there. They're advising me against it. I'm like, sounds like a challenge. So it's probably uh, like a three hour to four hour trip from here, thereabouts. Deep sections ahead. Oh, yeah, there you go. Now you know how fucking slippery that's gonna be. I'm pretty confident for a driver. But I just don't trust the capabilities of the car. But this hill here might actually be the one that turns us around. just keeps impressing me. It's like this giant rock formation right through there. This camera doesn't do it any justice. It's absolutely breathtaking. <laughs> Will you? I 
finally uh, at the other end of the Razorback Road. It's um, yeah, it's it's well worth driving that way if you're set up for it and you're confident with your car. There's certainly a couple of lookouts there that make that track well worth it. Not only that, it's a little bit fun too. Got 27 kilometres to go to the bomber, but that's the road. The phone says it's down this road. The map says it's down this road. But the sign says it's down that road. I'll go with the sign. This parking area down here is called the wall day use area. So I just parked my car here. The track's right there. It looks like it's semi well maintained. 1.6 kilometres it says. See a sign, that's a good sign, must be close. GPS says I'm 600 metres away. So we're finally here, it's just down there a little bit more, there's a couple of signs on in the way. The final flight, Betsy set out on the night of the 26th of February 1945 from Darwin to Brisbane, but never reached her destination. It is suspected that she crashed on daylight on the 27th of February 1945. Just the debris of this thing that's been thrown around. I don't know what this is. It looks like it might have been like some part of the landing gear or something. It's like a big hydraulic cylinder with some mechanical component there that probably went with it. Part of the plane there by the looks of it, a bit of panel. one of four engines that have been thrown around. There's this one, the one we just walked past, and there's another one just there. I suspect the other one's around somewhere. This sign reckons we're 100 metres away from the crash site. The amount of velocity that this thing must have had when it hit the ground would have been enormous. And as you begin to walk through here, you'll begin to see parts of panel all over the place. Here's the fourth engine. There's bits of debris absolutely everywhere. There's panels and debris of this thing absolutely everywhere. Look at that big piece up in there. More of it down here. This plane would have been absolutely torn to shreds. Absolutely destroyed. It's clear but there's a pathway of debris here. I don't know which way it came. Maybe it came down through this way and then down to uh, where we're about to go. So here we are, the final resting place of beautiful Betsy. The tail section just down there, the rest of the fuselage, I assume, is down the bottom of the hill. There's debris everywhere. This place is got a certain kind of quietness to it and stillness to it. And it's just surreal. And to the eight servicemen that died up on that hill that day, six USAF airmen and two RAF airmen, thank you for your service.